Hi, I just want to spend a few minutes talking to you about some of the volatility and uh, that we've had in the markets recently and how to keep investing within this environment. As investors, we often face the dilemma of wanting higher stock prices when uh, we sell, but of course not when we buy. There are times when this dilemma causes investors to shy away from the market and uh, thereby potentially missing out on a continuing rise. This is how investors get lured away from the market to become entangled in a uh, slippery slope of market timing, which is not advisable for a long-term investment strategy. By virtue of investing virtually the same amount of money every payday, you are actually using a strategy called systemic investing. Now, when you invest in your Kiwi Saver scheme, you are actually purchasing units in a portfolio which has a mix of assets underlying the fund. These units then rise and fall in price as the underlying asset prices move higher or lower. This brings us back to my earlier comments about when you want to buy with low prices and sell into higher prices. Systemic investing means that when the market's high, you actually purchase fewer units in your fund for the same amount of money. And conversely, when the market's lower, you'll be able to purchase more units in the, for that same amount of dollars. Quite obvious when you think about it, but it's surprising how much time and effort and money is spent on trying to time the market rather than focusing on the long term. This set and forget strategy does have a few issues, of course around manager performance, asset allocation, types of fund as you age. Uh, this is why we recommend reviews of your funds, possibly on an annual basis, but at the very least, maybe two or three years. I just want to touch now on how to invest one's inheritances. There's no one size fits all for this because it comes down to the best use of inheritance when it depends on your financial and personal situation. The amount of money, the types of debt you've got, your age, and uh, your risk profile spring to mind. One of the most widely used strategies for investing in inheritance is called dollar cost averaging. Dollar cost averaging is a practice whereby an investor allocates a set amount of money at a regular intervals, usually monthly or quarterly. However, the difference between this and systemic investing that I spoke of earlier is that it tends to be over a shorter period, usually about one year, rather than the extended period uh, when we're looking at KiwiSaver. In practice, depending on the amount, you might split the total amount into equal parts and invest that amount into at regular intervals. This will then give you an average entry price into the market via the funds, of course. The downside is that this average price might be higher than if you had to put all the money into the fund on day one especially if the market continues to rise. The upside, though, is that if, it, if the market falls, your entry prices will be lower and you'll have a much more um, uh, lower average cost uh, into your fund. You just have to have the discipline to make the investment at the agreed time. Either way, when it comes to inheritance, it would always be good to get in touch with us so that we can take you through the various strategies and model differing scenarios so that you can make informed decisions and the right decision for your personal situation. Thank you for watching.